Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are starting a special series of videos regarding App Engine Studio. It is a low code facility which is provided by ServiceNow. Low code means with no coding experience, you still can able to build applications which you can use for multiple purposes. You can use templates as well. These templates are predefined and are based on some real time scenarios so you can use it properly. So let's start with it. So in this demo, let's go to the App Engine. Under App Engine application, we have all this. App Engine Studio, you can click on it. Or we can click here also which will land us on the same page. Okay. So this is the interface. You see App Engine Studio. Here you have the option to create your new app. You also have the option to import an app. So let's say in the ServiceNow store if you have if you have seen any application which is uh, which is required by you so you can export it from there and directly import from here. Okay, so as simple as that. The very first tab is home tab. Here you see your name and it will give you some quick start options like add a table, add an experience, add a logic automation, browse templates and learn the tool that means the wiki and these are the recent apps which are created by me in this demo instance so first one is conference booking and then second one is test glide score okay you have the option to see your all the apps then we have templates i already told you what are templates some predefined templates which will save your time and which is very much targeted to the applications you are needing then we have the resources so these resources are nothing but uh, some articles which you can use to learn about app engine studio so now let's go to the very first tab let me open one of my existing application this is conference booking as soon as i click on it it will let me to the app home that is the app home of this conference booking application you have the option to add data here okay and when you click on add data you will see two options here first of all create table so this is your application as soon as it is live where the data will go so for that to keep the data you can use these tables or you can import some data from outside if you already have existing table then you can import that data into this table after data you have the option to add experience so what is experience it is the user interface so click on it add an interface so you have the option to provide an interface in the form of catalog item you know what is a catalog item right it is just a front interface by which user can add data user can request something okay from the application or you have the option for record producer you have the option to create a work face you have the option to create a portal okay mobile experience if you have something with respect to your mobile then you can use this properly go back next thing is logic and automation it means you have the option to add a workflows okay or some kind of integration this is the email notification it means if something happen in your app it means someone added data someone updated the data someone deleted the data okay any any sort of event happened you can create an email notification so that the people responsible will be notified next you have the option to create flow it means an automated process which will work in your application seamlessly we will check all this we will create one example later then you have the option to add security that is you have the option to create some access control for your application right now i have no elevated role that's why it is not editable so once we are done here then we'll go in this setting application properties so these are the journal properties this is the name this is the description this is the scope of your application this is the date when it was created this is a sys id of your application and you have the option to delete this application directly from this studio 
you also have the option to add a logo or to update the existing logo for your application. In case you want to change any of this, you have to come here and update it. And the next thing is source control. So let me click on it, link to source control. So basically what we are doing, we are just adding the source of this application into somewhere outside, let's say for in Git repository. So whenever uh, you make an update to this application, a particular copy or a separate copy will get stored in a Git. And in case your application is damaged or deleted or something happened to your application here in ServiceNow App Studio, you will be able to retrieve the latest version which is stored in the Git repository directly here into ServiceNow App Studio. So you have the option to provide your repository here. Okay. So how to do this we will see in a video separately. So with this we are at the end of this video where we have seen what is App Studio, how it is useful and how to navigate it. Okay. In our next video I will come up with a separate application created for you. We will see live how to add data, how to add experience, logic, security, everything for that particular app which we will create. So for the time being, I'll say goodbye to you. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and colleagues. Bye bye.